Well, listen, in class 4A, as we continue through the basin, it didn't go their way the first three weeks for the Andrews Mustangs, but you knew they weren't going to keep quiet for too much longer. That's for sure. And Ralph Mason and company have certainly proven themselves over the years. They have a big coming out party, had a big coming out party last week at the Mustang Bowl. Yeah, certainly did. How about junior quarterback E.J. Lopez? Found his rhythm in that game on Friday, last Friday, of course. No stranger to this, threw for over 4,000 yards last year with 46 touchdowns and in the win over the Seminole Indians, 63-17. How about 380 yards passing with seven touchdown passes? Finally able to let it come to life. Uh, just practicing, you know, knowing if we can get one win, we can get that first win, we can get it rolling. You know, that's what we're hoping to do going to next Dakota next week, preparing out, out there and just hoping to carry what we did last week into next week. So Andrews traveling up to Lubbock this week to try and make it two in a row, facing Lubbock Estacado sits at two and two on the season. As you see, the Matadors with the belt coming up. First quarter, Andrews ball. There's that man, EJ Lopez, Oof. goes to Jaywin Jones, and he gets the Mustangs on the board first. Andrews up seven nothing. Later on, Matador ball. Sims looking down the field. That pass going to be picked off by Manuel Rojo, but Estacado would get it back as Sims. Goes to Cray Stevenson along the sideline for the big gain there. Second quarter, more of the aerial attack. Sims on a quick throw to Genesis Walker and some yards after the catch there. Matadors in Mustang territory. Sims finding Larry Williams on the deep ball in the left corner of the end zone. That would tie the game up early on. As we look at the final, this was another slugfest for Andrews. We knew that 62 on the board last week wasn't what they were going to get every week. Yeah. But they are able to outlast Lubbock Estacado on the road to make it two in a row. Yeah, big win last night for the Mustangs. They can do it in multiple different ways. That's always a good sign. Multiple good team. And a big win, as of course, as we go back to our game of the week. It's all fun and games normally, but strictly business tonight for the Bulldogs. How about Midland High? Yeah, Ben, they dominated the first half, and they were able to keep it going. A pretty impressive turnaround for the